Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a, loud, with a voice like thunder, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see. Another horse, fiery red, went out. And it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth, and that people should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. And he opened the third seal. I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse. And he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And the name of him who sat on it was Death. And Hades followed with him. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, with hunger, with death by the beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of all those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cry, cry with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then a white robe was given to each of them. And it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. I looked when he opened the sixth seal. And behold, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became like blood. And the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Father, we pray, teach us. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, what a, what a passage. John is in heavenly places by the Holy Spirit. And he's seeing this revelation, this vision. And he's seeing various scenes. He's, there are many different scenes that he's seeing here. And the point First of all, is that the book of Revelation is not the revelation of the beast or the Antichrist. It's the revelation of Jesus, the one who was, who is, and who is to come, the Almighty. Jesus is God. And at first, he came and gave the message to the seven churches. See, Jesus walks in the midst of the churches. And so chapters 2 and 3 contain those messages. And then we come to chapter 4, and we see the scene in heaven 
of great worship going on. People who are redeemed out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. We see the 24 elders, which represent the victorious ones throughout history. And we see the four living creatures, which we put forth rather than being angels or rather than being all of creation, we put it forth as being the body of Christ, full of eyes, the body of Christ on earth under the head Jesus. And that as the body of Christ on earth worships and praises God through the difficulties of earth, of life, as the body of Christ praises and worships through hardship and demonic attack and difficulties, that worship rises up into the heavenly places. And the four living creatures are inspired by that worship that comes from earth. And then they fall down before the throne of God also, and they worship God. Hallelujah. And then in chapter 5, John was in, in the heavenly places, and, and they looked around, and no one was qualified to open the seals of the scroll, the plan of God, the, the word of God, the, the uh, plan of God of the, of the ages is in that scroll. And Jesus, the Lamb, appears as being qualified, the only one qualified to open it. And so there is worship in three dimensions in chapter 5. First of all, you have the people of God. Then you have the people of God along with angelic hosts. And then finally you have all creation worshiping because it says they worshiped him in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And gave and, and said, He is Lord. He is Lord. He's risen from the dead. He's Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's chapter 5. So now Jesus in chapter 6 is opening the seals. Now we have several pictures here. Hallelujah. In chapter 6, at first, some may be offended at God by reading this because you see the incredible destruction of humanity. And you see that God is sovereign over it. And that may cause a person to be offended at first. Remember, Jesus said, blessed is the person who's not offended in me. And we have to understand, as Psalm 19 says, the judgments of the Lord are righteous altogether. And this is a picture of the tragic consequence of sin. Man was made in the image of God for God's purpose. But man chooses to go his own way which brings about calamity because man left to his own devices will bring about destruction. And God is ultimately in control of everything, even these consequences. And he uses them to accomplish his purposes. Kind of like Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, it says, from verse 18 to the end of chapter 1, it says, although they knew God, they chose not to acknowledge him as God, but chose rather to worship the creation rather than the creator. Because of that, God gave them over, God gave them over, and then God gave them up. He gives them up as the only hope for any kind of repentance. Repentance. 